Hello, welcome back to the Interface. My name's Alex, and today we're going to take a quick look at how to use an Osprey charger in the UK. Now, this one is thankfully a Chem Power site, and this one is just outside Cheltenham and Gloucester. And these are this is quite a new site, really, and it's quite a nice location as well. This one is at a farm shop. We've also got a vending machine for milk, um, so it's quite a nice little spot. But in this video, we're going to show you how to use an Osprey charger. Now, these ones, as I said, are Chem Power, and they are one of the best chargers on the market. They are 400 volt, so if you have got an 800 volt car, they will tend to be a bit, little bit slower, but they'll work just fine. Now this one is really good as every single spot has Chadamo and CCS2. So no matter what car you drive, you're always gonna have a charger. Um, what it has meant though, is that at every, at every charging spot, Osprey has had to put in two chargers, which has no doubt increased the cost of this site deployment. Because um, with the Kempower chargers, if you use one of them, the other one is going to become inactive. Now, we've covered Chem Power chargers on the channel before, so like BEV and Sainsbury Smart Charge both use Chem Power and they are a really, really good charger. Now, this site is 79p per kilowatt hour, which is a little bit pricey in 2024 or 2025 as it is today. Um, we can pay in lots of different ways. So we have got contactless down the bottom here, We've also got an RFID card system. Um, I believe Osprey have their own RFID card, but what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to use the uh, Octopus Electroverse card, uh, the Octopus Electroverse app, also the Osprey app and contactless. So we're gonna cover a lot of different scenarios in this video. So we've got the charger here. We've got the 50 kilowatt on Chadamo and 150 kilowatt on CCS2. And what you can see on the screen here is that it says 400 volt DC max, and they've all got their different ID numbers as well. These screens on these chargers are really easy to use as well, which is really good. Um, we've got a pound sign here and it says 79p per kilowatt hour. There's no charging time, sort of over, overcharging, and there's no startup fee either. And all the prices include 20% VAT. Now, one thing I've seen people get confused about on these is that the RFID card reader is here and the, the, the contactless card reader is down the bottom here. So if I ever get the camera in a better location, um, the contactless card reader is there. This is for contactless payment only. If you have got the Osprey RFID card or a Octopus Electroverse card, this is how you use it. So what I'm gonna do first is show you how to use the Octopus Electroverse card. First thing you wanna do is select the charger. So you click on the screen. In this instance, I've got a CCS2 car, the Aura 03. It now says authenticate with a tag, mobile app, or pay with card. What I'm gonna do is use the Electroverse card. And for those using contactless, there is a 45 pound authorization charge. So RFID card here, Gonna scan that now, it's authenticated, and what it says to do now is plug in the charging cable. So what it is doing now is preparing to charge. This can take a few minutes. You can see here a loading screen, so it says it's plugged in, it's just doing the preparing to charge section now. So what you can see here is once the charge is activated, we have got the, the voltage of the car, so it says 400 volt DC. The charge rate of the car, uh, my aura is relatively full at the moment, so it's not gonna charge the fastest today, and also it's quite cold. Um, got the charger ID here, you could follow along on the mobile. We have also got the price here, so it is saying it's 14 pence so far, and the speed now is the vehicle limits itself. Um, it is saying 79p here, but there is an offer today with Octopus, uh, with plunge pricing, and that lowers it down to quite an affordable rate, really. Um, so if we look at the Octopus app, um, it's now saying 67p today, which is pretty good. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is end the charge uh, and then we'll try a different payment method as well. So click on stop. So thankfully you have to use your card to stop the charge. So let's press stop. So it says stop, stop button press on charger, unlock car and disconnect the charging cable. And we'll put the, the charger socket back in here. So what I'm gonna do now is try a different payment method. So um, the Kempower Power Chargers with Osprey take a, a variety of different payment methods. Uh, the next one I'm gonna take, uh, try, is contactless. So thankfully there is a contactless reader down here. And what, we're, we are, what we are gonna do now is select the charger, which is this one, CCS2. Authenticate our bank card, which is gonna be this one down here. So it's just authenticate that. Processed. What it's saying now is it's just authorizing the charge, card accepted, authenticated, and we can now plug in the charging cable as per usual. So let's unplug the cable here and plug that directly into the car. And what we'll do 
is have a look on the screen it's saying hold the plug steady and what you can see here is on the screen it now says preparing to charge 72% in the Aura 03 same sort of system as last time but we are, what the difference is we are now paying 79p versus 67 pence with the Octopus Electroverse card again same process as before click on stop um, the difference is with this one is that anyone can stop this um, so really I would advise using something like the RFID cards from Octopus just so you know it no one can stop the charge when they feel like it so again same process as before let's unplug the cable so at the moment the pin is locking the port in the car so you might have to unlock the car there we go the pin has been released we can put the charger back in here and everything's available again so a little bit different now i'm going to use the octopus electroverse app a really really good app actually you should download it um, if you use my link in the description you'll get five pound actually we'll both get five pounds off our next charge which is really really helpful help support the channel um, so you can see here i'm next to the primrose farm shop and my blue dot is next to the charger and you can see here um, we've got the octopus sorry they've got the osprey chargers next to me as well um, and these are 150 kilowatt the six well there's 11 out of 12 available um, it does say now 79p because i think the um, plunge pricing has now sadly gone away um, but all the charges are available it says oct number eight is being used which isn't actually correct uh, but number 12 is this one again same process as using the card really you just click charge you can charge with electric card or the charge with the app we are going to click charge with the app it says um, plug in now so what we'll do is wait for the screen to show the details of what to do next um, actually what we'll do is plug the charger in and then click on start charge yes there we go so we're not we are now authenticated on the charger itself it says hold the plug steady which i am going to do and we should get some details on the octopus app again same system as last time got the percentage on the screen got the voltage of the car preparing to charge so it now says 72 percent and we've got all the charge rates as well again same process as to end it as well you slide to stop the charge which is really easy to do so stopping the charge and you can unlock the port as well so again click finish and what it has done like last time is the car requires a little bit of encouragement to unlock the port so we're going to have to lock the car and unlock it again there we go so the last method we're going to do now is the osprey app itself i've signed up for an account i'm all ready to go to click on the charging points here you can see here there's lots of different points available if you just check on the screen it'll show you which id you're at basically click on 12 start charging it'll then take a 25 pound pre-authorization charge which is absolutely fine it says make sure you're plugged in which i'm going to do now same sort of process as before pretty easy really to be the same price the only, the only discount the only downside is you don't get the plunge pricing from octopus by using this app but at the moment um it looks like that window has closed the screen on the charger now saying prepare to charge so it's connecting there we go so it says how long you're going to be here for um and that's all good so again the same process click stop charging and that is pretty much it so that's been a look at how to use an osprey charger in 2025 in the uk if you like this sort of content, please consider subscribing to these face cars. My name's Alex, and I'll see you again next time.